Hello and welcome. My name is Michael Alfano. I am the instructional technology coach for the Peak Skill City School District. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a behavior referral using Infinite Campus. So here we are in Infinite Campus. Right now we are in the classic view. One way to create a behavior referral is to click on behavior and then click behavior referral in the sidebar. From there, we can click new and start our behavior referral. An additional way we can create a behavior referral is by making sure we are selected on the index tab and then type in referral and then we can click behavior referral. We'll be brought to the same screen where we can click new to create our referral. If we are switching over to the new view, we can do that by clicking on the silhouette here and then click on try the new look. Here we will see the new look of Infinite Campus. If you are looking at this view, the steps are quite similar. We can first select Behavior Office and then select Behavior Referral. Here we'll be brought to the same screen where we can click on New to create our referral. And lastly, in the new view, you can click on the search window at the top. You can type Referral and then click on Behavior Referral. Now that we've learned to locate the Behavior Referral page on Infinite Campus, the next thing we will take a look at is how to create and submit our Behavior Referral. We will start by clicking on New, and we will then take a look at the incident detail information. First, we have a drop-down for alignment where we can choose discipline or award. We can choose the incident date and the incident time. Please keep in mind that the date and time shown here will be the date and time that you create the referral, so you may want to go in and change this to make sure they reflect the proper time and date of the incident itself. Next, we will add a title to our referral. We can add our location. And on the right hand side, we can select any administrator to notify. And if we would like to select more than one administrator, we can control click to select multiple administrators. If there are any damages, you can enter that amount in the field here. Although not every field is required, it is encouraged to fill out as many fields with as much detail as possible when submitting your referral. Once you've completed the incident detail information, you will then go to the bottom of the screen and click Add Event Participant. Here, you will receive a pop-up window where we can then select the event type. And if necessary, you can indicate if this is gang-related or bias-related using the checkboxes provided. At the bottom of this screen, there is a space to filter by students and search by their name. Once you've selected your student, you can then choose if this student is the offender, participant, victim, or witness. You can choose if there is any level of injury, and if so, add a description and indicate whether medical services were provided along with some additional details. If a second student needs to be added to the referral, you can do so by typing in that second student's name at the bottom and selecting them as you did with the first student. Again, you can then choose the role of that second student, indicate if there was any injury, and provide details as necessary. Once you've completed all the details necessary in this window, you can click on Save Draft. You will then be brought back to the editor and you will see some new information at the bottom of your window. Once you review your information and everything looks appropriate, you can then click Submit at the top of your screen. You will receive a notification indicating that your behavior referral has been submitted and you are all set. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.